But yes, there are situations where the law of Darura will apply. Someone who is genuinely helpless, genuinely helpless, big family cannot travel, no way, nobody to help him. So the law of Darura is if there is no food and you are starving to death, then you are allowed to eat lahmul khinzir, pork. Yeah, pork. This is the law of Darura. So they apply the law of Darura. Good. I lived in New York for 10 years, so I know. <laughs> so then I ask yourself, when you have to eat the pork to stay alive, do you have to fill the plate? Huh? Huh? Itna sari? <laughs> or would you eat just the minimum to stay alive? Daddy, Arewa, look at the big house. You can go back to Rawalpindi and show off. Look at the big house I have. You fill the plate with pork. That's not the law of Darura. And when I eat the pork, I'm just eating it to stay alive. But they eat the pork and they lick their fingers. Yeah, lick their fingers. They're proud and happy with this house we bought. And number three, this is hypocrisy, really. Number three, when you're eating the pork, you are always searching for food. So as soon as you could get food, you don't have to eat the pork anymore. I wish I could use the language I want to use, but it's a bit too harsh for you. Let me spare you that language. So the, these ignorant, let me use the term ignorant people. These ignorant people, they sign contract for 30 years of pork. Haji, 30 years of pork. Whereas you're supposed to, while eating the pork, searching for food. And on the day you could get food to stop eating the pork, but no, you sign a document for 30 years of pork. 